Hello everybody. Making your own condiments is not as difficult as you may think. Today I'm going to show you how I make sliced pickled red onions. I shall leave you to peel the onions and slice them very thin and then we'll move into the kitchen and examine the rest of the ingredients. We have sugar, vinegar, water, kosher salt, mustard seeds and black peppercorns. And of course the star of the show are thinly sliced red onions. Firstly fill our jars with the red sliced onion using a spoon if necessary to push the onion down into the jar. Make sure you put as much onion as possible into the jar. Use the handle of the spoon to push the onion down into the jar. You fill the jars solidly with onion to within half an inch of the top, as shown here. Now our brine comprises 50-50 vinegar and water and here's a trick to make sure you get the exact amount you require. Simply fill one of the jars with vinegar and then empty it with a strainer over the saucepan. Then fill the other jar with water and empty that into the saucepan through a strainer. You now have an exact 50-50 mix of distilled vinegar and water for your brine with just enough to fill both jars. Now we pour the brine into a measuring jug because we need to know how much volume of brine we've got. There are two cups of brine. So empty the brine back into the saucepan. Now we need to add two thirds of a teaspoon of salt for each cup of brine. So my two cups of brine require one and one third teaspoons of salt. Now we can add our spices and our sugar to the brine. For flavouring I am adding half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and half a teaspoon of black peppercorns. You may use spices of your own choice for the particular flavour that you want. I am also adding one third of a cup of sugar for sweetness. You may add more or less according to how sweet you want your onions to be. Take the brine to the hob and bring to a boil, stirring all the time until all the sugar and the salt is dissolved. Then let it simmer for a few minutes and then turn off the heat for a little while. 
using a funnel, pour the hot brine over the onion in the jars. Using a small spoon, scrape the spices from the bottom of the saucepan and put some into each jar. Use a small spoon to tap down the onions into the brine to make sure that any air bubbles are released. Using oven gloves, transfer the hot jars to a rack to allow them to cool down to room temperature. When the jars are cooled, you can seal them with a cap and they are now ready to go to the refrigerator. Your filled jars should now look something like this. To wrap up, just a couple of things to remember. Number one, these pickles are what's known as quick pickles or refrigerated pickles. They are not designed for long-term shelf storage, but must be kept in the refrigerator. Number two, just remember for the brine, it is equal parts vinegar and water and two-thirds of a teaspoonful of salt for each cup of brine. If you make these pickles, I'd be really interested if you could leave a comment and let me know how they went, and also if you use a different variety of spices and how that changed the flavour profile. Thanks for watching this video, and if you found it useful, please consider giving it a like. As always, thanks for watching this video. It would really mean a lot to me if you could hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching.